Hello and welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, thank, thanks so much for clicking onto this video. I would love for you to become a subscriber to my channel. I am a October girl, so I love everything October and Halloween, but I do celebrate all the other holidays and like to show videos of what I do for other holidays, but definitely Halloween, October are my favorite times of the year. So looking at all of these Christmas containers, I feel again, like I said in my last video, like I'm Tim Allen and the original Santa Claus movie when he runs down the stairs and sees all the containers in his doorway. That is how I feel. And then these are just some orders that I have received. So today I'm going to tackle decorating my entryway. I hope you stay along and watch. I would show me decorating my entryway, but as I have stated in previous videos, I am on oxygen. I do require to stop. And I just didn't think that that would be something you would be interested in seeing. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, what do you think so far? So I have my branches in my vase, my pottery barn deer I showed in a recent haul, my wayfair staghead candelabra, which I just went ahead and put my pine cone tea lights in. And then my Joanne dupe reindeer over there. And I'm thinking I might put fairy lights in the garland in, in the branches, or maybe I should just do them in the garland. What do you think? I'm not going to light the stag head up because I have cats in my house and occasionally I've caught them up here. So I don't want to put battery operated candlesticks in the stag head because they'll just end up falling over on the floor. So I thought just put the pine cone tea lights. I got these a few years ago. I just never burned them. I need to actually try and find some more because I had them to the left of my entryway table and that candle holder right there. So this is how far I've gotten. I'll show you another update in a second. Okay, so this is how everything turned out. I went ahead, I forgot about my anthropology little houses. Normally I have a like town, the houses you can get at Michael's. And I have like four or five of those and I usually always set them on my entryway table, but I just wanted to do something different this year. I'll probably put them in the bedroom on our uh, shelves in the bedroom because my boyfriend does love those. But again, just wanted to do something different. Please let me know because I did struggle a little bit with these anthropology candle houses. Do, do they look okay here? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think? I put them on each side. And then I switch my baskets out. As you can see, Scout is in my white basket. I had that down there in the summer and they ruined it. It's all put in the back because they jump in and out of it. But I have to leave a basket empty down there because as you can see, my cats like to lay in them. And there's the large size anthropology house, my lantern, and just a silver orb thing. I bought it at a gift shop a few years back, but I'm gonna pan around and kind of show you. I was able to find some more pine cone tea light candles. I just took them out of my candle holder above my fireplace. I did go ahead and put lights in my branches and then I'm gonna pan up. This is my Santa and sleigh. I always put him above the entryway mirror. It was a part of a garland. I am aware you can see this, the strand. I tried to hide it as best I could, but I always put this above my mirror. And then I'm gonna pan down.
And there's my basket I did have by the front door. And again, this is what it looks like. I have no clue where I got the Santa and sleigh garland. Whoops, sorry, you can see my wood cleaner spray. Didn't mean to get that in the picture. And you can see me recording. This mirror is so big. And then I'm just going to show you by my front entryway. My Kirkland sign I got. May you never be too grown up to search the skies on Christmas Eve. I have my wreath. Here is the other anthropology candle house. And then I have wreath with bells on it. I like having the bells at the door because then you can hear when people come outside in and out of your house. You can hear my kitty meowing. And then I have another Christmas pillow. I just can't find it at the minute. And this actually I got at TJ Maxx years ago. I use it as an entryway bench, but you can flip the cover, the cushions on the top and one side becomes like a tray or you can just use it as a bench by the door. Now I'm gonna show you what everything looks like with the lights off. All right, so this is what it looks like in the dark. My cats are loving this doormat. It's the gingerbread house one from Kirkland. If you watch my decorate with my front patio video, um, I ended up using a different doormat outside. I forgot I had, it was a snowflake one. You step on it, it lights up. I got it from Pottery Barn. If you wanna watch my previous video, I show that. Here is my anthropology other candle. It's kind of dark in that corner. I'm gonna get, I'll figure out a way to light it up over there. I can't light candles because I am on oxygen. And then I was gonna put blankets in this basket, but I opted not to. Now I didn't want a ton of lights over here because I also know that I am going to have a Christmas tree in my living room. So I like it to look cozy. But yes, this is how everything came together. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please comment down below what you thought. Thanks so much for watching and until the next one, have a good one.